In this video, we'll briefly cover the basics of handing in to your code grade assignment within Blackboard. Once you're within Blackboard, simply navigate to the code grade assignment and a code grade window within Blackboard will be visible to you. Depending on the configuration of your teacher, this window may look a little bit different with other buttons displayed to you or buttons that are displayed right here and not displayed to you. A good idea is always to first check the rubric. In the rubric, you can find how your assignment is going to be graded. A rubric consists of multiple rubric categories. In this case, four. Some rubric categories have the AT logo. This means that they'll be automatically tested. If they don't have this logo, that means that the teacher or teaching assistant will grade that part of the assignment. Now, if you've already handed in a submission, you can simply press the latest submission button right here to check out your latest submission. If not, or if you hand in again, you can do that either via Git, which we will cover in a separate video, or simply press here to upload files. Finally, you will find some hand in instructions right here. Basically saying, by default, all files are denied, except for these requirements. You have to hand in exercises.py, sudoku.py, and report.pdf. Of course, this may be different for your assignment. If we want to hand these in, we can either, either drag and drop files right here, or we can click here to select the files that we want to hand in. We can select the zip file, or we can just simply select a couple files to hand in. Press submit. And right away, you will be presented with the auto test tab. If your teacher has turned on continuous feedback, every time you hand in, you will get immediate feedback on your code. As we can see here, some tests have already started running and gave me feedback on my code. As we said before, these tests will fill in certain automatic rubric categories. In this case, these tests all fill in the functionality rubric category. If we do not pass a test, we can press on that test to view what went wrong. What we can do now is we can find the mistake, try to fix this and hand in again. Because we will get immediate feedback again, we can really easily see if we fixed our problem. It can be possible that some tests will not be visible to you. That means that these tests will only be visible after the deadline has passed. Now, go to the code tab right here and you can find the code that you've handed in. If you have any questions about your code, simply press on any line to ask your question. Save. And this question will be sent to the teacher or teaching assistant and hopefully they can help you out with this. Of course, it can be possible that your teacher has turned off some of these options. I wish you good luck with your assignments in CodeGrade.